you like it? And how did everyone look? Are we stealing stuff from it? Is it problematic? It's brunch. Movie reviews. The Darkest Hour nope. is... Nope. Just Darkest Hour. Yeah? Yep. Man. So, it doesn't have an article or an interesting experience. <laughs> Darkest Hour, I thought, was, like, boring to the point where it wasn't even fun. I, I completely agree. I mean, uh, all right, let's get into it. Uh, 1.6 out of 4 for me for Did You Like It? Um, what about you? I'm going 0. 0.6. Wow. Yeah. You did not like it that much. I was – I so, I – Paused it a lot of times. I tried watching the movie multiple times. Yeah, it I, was. It did take you like a full calendar week to, to like actually get suck that in movie. that actual fucking movie. And I don't know. I assumed I would love it. Um, I, I, it wasn't like a. I was disappointed in it. Like uh, I didn't have like huge hopes. But I mean, it's a it's an Oscar nominated movie. Right. You know, yeah, like G- Gary Oldman. Picture. Darkest Hour is basically. All the boring stuff that Dunkirk didn't include. Yeah, yeah. It is, you know, so you know when people say, um, like, oh, did you read the book? Watching Darkest Hour is like reading the book, whereas Dunkirk is the movie version of the book. That is an outstanding way of putting it. That was what you just said is so much better than the movie. <laughs> I it enjoyed it. Ma- I was more stimulated seeing and hearing you make that point than I was seeing or hearing anything in that movie i was i was interested in the subject matter but just the way that it was presented was really i i felt like it droned i thought it was pretentious yeah uh it was the basically the most british movie of all time um just nothing uh i guess we'll go into how did everybody look so i can set up the only part of the movie that i liked which was the uh the first scene of the movie which was when they're getting Neville Chamberlain out of there, and they're all flapping their fucking papers and screaming, like, we need a new leader, and doing all that. That, I was like, oh, so we're we fucking, we're partying, huh? I was like, all right, this is my kind of movie. And then it just went all downhill from there. How did everybody look, I guess? I'm giving How Did Everybody Look a full two out of two, just because of uh, Gary Oldman as mm. Winston Churchill, I thought, I thought was great. Uh, completely unrecognizable and looked exactly like him. So uh, that's as far as I need to go to give it a two out of two. Yeah, uh, I was going to give it um, – I was going to give it a uh, 1.5 out of two just for that, but I think that also a lot of the accents, not just from, uh, not just from Gary Oldman, but from um, the guy who plays FDR, whoever that was on the phone, yeah. Uh, like, it just everything looked and sounded right. It was very, very great presentation. Uh, are we stealing anything from it? One thing that I picked out that I want to steal from it uh, is a life goal. In one of the opening scenes, I think the first time that they show Churchill, he is uh, drinking, smoking, and eating in his bed with one of those, like, TV trays yeah. right in front of him while he, like, dictates to his assistant who, like, transcribes for him. I think that that is a personal life goal. If I could be a writer and just like eat, smoke, and drink in my bed while just yelling at somebody, uh, I'm going to steal that if I can. So I couldn't give points for that because that's like way too close to what I already do. <laughs> Who's just your like, No, just like just getting uh, work done in bed that I should probably get up to do. And I'm sitting there. Sometimes there's like a beer in play. Um, this might surprise you, but I have never – I very rarely work in bed, and I never drink in bed. Uh, I drink in bed less these days. Shouts out to me for turning my life around. <laughs> that discussion was more interesting than this movie. Way more. Uh, all right. Um, I, oh, oh, no, but I, I, I gave it a full two out of two because uh, when he's on the phone with the president and uh, he asks a very uh, serious request and the response is, sorry, can't swing it. I'm going to be very, very uh, casual and blasé about serious things. I'm going to say things like, uh, hey, I've been thinking about this relationship. Can't swing it any longer. Uh, I've been thinking about your mom's funeral. I, I, I love, just can't, can't I mean, swing it. And then it. he asks for something. He was like, well, what about this? And he was like, ah, again, tight spot for me. Yep. Not going to do it. <laughs> 
Was it problematic? Um, I found I'm gonna get. Uh, see, I don't know if I had yeah. Did my you score. say stealing? Point two five out of two. Okay. Uh, problematic. I'm giving it a one out of two. Um, he was kind of a dick to his assistants. Kind of an asshole. Yeah. Came around a little bit on the uh, the last lady mm. who actually kind of like asserted herself with yeah. him. Um, but he also sort of like sexually harassed her in like the first uh, hour or so. Like, well, actually, like in the first 15 minutes. Yeah. He basically exposed himself to her twice. Yeah. Um, that so was a little. Mm -hmm. Very problematic. But and so it should be a full two out of uh, out of two there. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it should be a full zero out of two there because to, you wanted to give it a harmful score for being problematic. Right. But uh, I didn't feel, as is our policy, that it was uh, imparting anything. No, right. Uh, I think it was just being authentic to the times. It was 1940. You know, like right. guys, it, guys were even bigger assholes than they are now. I totaled up my score during this conversation because of how boring the, the conversation was because we were having a conversation about dark hour. Can't even call it the dark hour. What'd you give it total? You got the movie wrong again. Darkest Hour. D the Dark Knight? Yes. yes. That, that one. Uh, f total, uh, 4.85 out of 10. Wow. I gave it a higher score than you did. Really? Crazy. I gave it a 5.5 out of 10. But I will say... Um, That's because I gave it a full two for stealing stuff. True. But also, uh, history has shown I am much harsher than you are. Really? The numbers, yeah. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, do we want to see this movie again? I, Sorry. I, I never want to see this movie again in my life. Can't swing it. Brunch! Hit it, boys!